Camp Adventures. Good morning. Welcome back to Camp Adventures. So, in the car, on my way to Mankato again. Still nursing the cold. Oh, the cough's going away. But, uh, yeah, it went back to position one. Tried to rig up, you know, another spot, but it seemed anywhere else that I put it, it was just going to block way too much of my view, and I just didn't like it. So, I put it back here. I, would, I really did like how it was up there next to the rear view mirror, but I just didn't feel safe hanging my camera up that high. If I could find, figure out something to secure it more, to make sure that if this, the suction cup that's holding this thing on the window, if I could to rig it up so that if it, the suction cup does fall, that it it won't, you know, drop all the way and possibly smash my camera. If I could rig something up, you know, that'd be perfect, but at this point I don't know what I could do to rig it up. So I'll leave it right here, you know, it's just sitting right close to the dash, so I'll probably do some tweakering to see if I can get the thing to wedge against the dash so it doesn't shake so much. I didn't really look at the footage from yesterday to see how stable it looks, but looking at the camera, she's shaking a lot, so who knows how, how it looks until I actually look at the footage. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be a rainy one today, so, not sure what I'll uh, get up to in Mankato, but, uh, we're on our way. So I'm in Mankato, but of course things can't ever go smoothly. Uh, I'm here, and damn wheel is loose on my chair uh, it's actually that one but I can show you what's wrong uh, on this one there's a bracket right there that holds the wheel on it allows it you can bring the wheel forward and whatnot and there's a nut on the inside I don't know if you can see it on both sides like that one and when they both get they're both loose on that side and then the wheel moves around and it's really loose and I've been having issues with it the last couple weeks and I don't have the right size tools to be able to fix it and I can't even hand tighten it here because every time I try I'll fall out of the car and if I hit the ground I'm screwed I can't get myself up off the ground so I had to call Mel and I don't know if she's sending Matt down or if she's coming herself but somebody's got to come and hand tighten it and then I think what I'm gonna do once we get everything in to Mel's and I eat some lunch I'm just gonna take her and Matt, maybe you're, maybe I'll just go myself and try to see if I can get the proper tools because this is just I can't do this and you know I'm not going to be back in Marshall till Friday at least and I really should have the tools. I mean I can take it in and get it worked on, but in situations like this I should really have the proper tools to be able to take care of it myself, so, pain in the ass. I got a Pino. So, just bought uh, a socket, an adapter, and a wrench. 
be able to fix my wobbly wheel. Forty one bucks. That sucked. I don't really consider it that bad. Considering I don't have that much money right now. You just got a crap. I know I just got that, but still. I'm too cute to club. Don't club me. I'm too cute. I like that turtle thing. It's a light up turtle. We're in Barnes and Noble playing with the puppets and in the little infant kids section because we're little kids. I want the turtle. It puts stars on the ceiling. You realize what that would do to Jack Jack? He would go insane. He's shaking. <laughs> Matt doesn't like my collection of snowboards. That's just a different pet snowboard, that's all. I'm supposed to put this out as a decoration at my Easter party. And I don't know, it might scare everyone away. That and there was a guy at the St. Patrick's Day party that kept trying to take Mel's uh, Care Bear. She had this hand-made uh, crocheted Care Bear that her grandmother made for her. And this guy kept trying to take it because he thought it was a door prize. And didn't understand that it was decoration. So I have the feeling if you set that ugly, hideous thing out, somebody's going to think it's a door prize and try to steal it, but I don't think we care. I... I don't know about this. <laughs> the eyes frighten me. Oh, this is going to be interesting. I want to go to bed, but I can't turn the TV off. As, let's see if I go like that, you can see Sam is laying in front of the TV, and he is blocking the sensor input. I muted the TV so that I could watch a couple uh, vlogs on YouTube and now I'm about to curl up to go to sleep and I can't even unmute the TV so I can't turn it off. In case you can't hear that, that was Mel saying she, she's in bed and she's not getting up to help. She she tried to get him. She tried calling him, and he's just like, yeah, I don't care. I got the squirt bottle in here for the other one, so sorry. Yeah, she she got the squirt bottle in there for Jack because he's insisting on playing mouse. Now, right now. Yeah, right now. So he's being a poop. So. If I had my slippers, I would throw a slipper at him. Throw a pen. Throw a pen. Do I have a pen handy? Uh, I'm looking. I need the Kleenex box, though. I don't have anything to throw. Pink blanket. Oh, I'll throw one of these. <clears throat> yeah, that didn't work at all. I didn't even get close to him. So let's try the other one. I hit him. But he don't care. 
Let's see if I can. He didn't even move. Well, looks like I'm going to get set up for bed and watch more YouTube videos until he decides to move. Which I don't think is going to be anytime soon. So, good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully not sleep deprived. Adventures. Making our way one push at a time.